I'm Darren. I'm from America. I've been in China for two years. Hi, I'm Annie, and I'm Ningbo Loco. I like to cook. I learned how to cook from my mother and my grandmother and her grandmother. I like to make dishes uh, that are down home. And today's recipe is going to be fiery Texas toast. Today I'm going to cook a tomato with egg, a very traditional dish from China. <laughs> we don't know. When I travel around a lot of different places, when I miss Chinese food, if I go to the supermarket, just get the egg and the tomato, and I can make very traditional dish. All right, let's get cooking. Deal. I need oil. I'm going to mix up the ingredients here and then I'm going to take it to here. This is Texas toast. Very simple recipe. In America, we have a lot of buffets, sizzlers, steakhouse, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they feed you these bread coated ingredients so you get full so you don't eat all their steak. Pepper flakes, oregano, mm -hmm. garlic salt. Ground Parmesan cheese, butter, mm -hmm. 200, 250, and then some butter already melted for the back set, and I'll show you how to do that. That's just what we're gonna use the whole we're pack. We're gonna use of the whole blood. thing. That's 200 to 250. Eight yeah. ounces, or one, usually these come in one serving All containers. Of All of it oh contained. Now I find a way to spend a all this in my house, I have three packets I never opened. About four tablespoons of red chili pepper flakes. And I only have three in here now. Four makes it really fiery and so not okay, everybody medium likes Medium spicy. Right. Garlic salt, pour that in. Ground oregano, mm -hmm. whatever you have around the house that is just dried flakes. You want to try to keep this as uh, dry as possible. So we use dry ingredients other than the butter because too much okay. gets too much. Then you just mix that around. Now I don't know, they don't serve anything like that, this in uh, China. I have never found it. So I started yeah. making my own and I'd use it as a side dish. Okay. You definitely don't want to eat this as a full meal and you will be as big as me. We don't use butters when we cook Chinese dishes. I noticed that in, in Chinese recipes, there's a lot of oils. Yeah, but sesame the, oil. The, oil. Not the concentrated butter. Oil. Yeah. Can I do that? Sure. It's just like a, your plain Play-Doh. Eva will make a, a dinosaur, a Bantasaurus with this. You can use regular toast, mm -hmm. but the problem is, when you're putting on the ingredients, it will be and when you sink. put it, you put it, it gets, it, it flattens out, gets too mm. thin. So you need the thickness of it. When you get these and you pre-cut, you want to cut the heel off because you don't want the, the solidness. It won't soak up the bread or soak mm. up the butter as much. So I can eat it. You can eat it, or you can keep it, dry it out, make bread crumbs for uh, meatballs. I use a generous amount. Don't be shy, and you coat it on. Very shy. And then it's coated on, and don't worry, because it will melt in like and color. taste fantastic. When I eat bread, it's just a piece of bread. Mm. Sometimes like a little bit jelly, but None of them. I like, like that. Uh, my peanut butter real on thick. That's really good. Like I said, the uh, options were some cayenne pepper, or which I'm not using, or some freshly ground uh, Romano or Parmesan. Now, when you flip these, you want to use two utensils because if you go straight under and pick it up you sometimes can push the ingredients to the other side and you have a smashed cheesy on one side. So you kind of want to lift it and put it over. And I'll show you how to do that. You just throw that in, you can hear it. Take your spatula, see how that's uh, cooking up. You take your liquid 
uh, butter and squeeze it on the back. Who doesn't like I feel like if little I burnt had... cheese? Like when you get pizza, everybody reaches for that yeah. burnt, peeled up, you know, cheese. Okay. Now usually just one turn, two turns is gonna do it, but you want to turn it over to see. Nice. This one, one piece can be my breakfast and lunch all together. Ready? Go. And then? Yep, and then you want to push down. Enough? Okay, that's enough. Okay. And then you can take your spatula and push it. Smell really good. Just slide it there, there you go. go. And then flip and it. Flip it. There you go. And then? And that's just, that's okay because that's just that loose fresh cheese that's yeah. crispied up and everything else melted down. And just put that's it in the tray. Made it by me. Okay. And that's Fiery Texas Toast. Yummy. Really good. The best thing is it's not sweet. Because if it's sweet, I, one one bite I will be like my stomach will be heavy. It's really local American. Ta -ta! Come. Real quick. Hoo, ha, hoo, ha. Really American style. You in here have not eaten here. But sweet. You tell me the taste. Everyone will like it, right? Very simple. Okay, we got the approval. <laughs> What's going on? A, She's a, stealing. Sister, <laughs> you're stealing. Well, my sister can make. She's allowed. She can make her one episode where we our very special. Yes. Okay. Here's my material. Normally, you can add some wine, Chinese wine, but I didn't bring. This is how Chinese people scramble that. Use very Chinese style knife. But That's we, a meat cleaver in the U.S. I don't know. This is how I cut. I like to cut the tomato small pieces because because I'm not really a um, tomato fan. In another way, just like that. The piece the with this, I don't like. Not tasty. Today I'm not going to use the Chinese pan, but Bruno. It's very convenient. I find out uh, last trip in USA. You can cook all different sort of food. Ooh, let's put the egg in. Oops. And then, looks beautiful. The color of tomato egg is the, we say, if you watch the Olympic Games, Chinese sporter they wear the clothes in red and yellow. It's pretty much Chinese color. They said it's tomato egg color. Uh -huh. I will take it out to keep the egg uh, not too old. Ooh. I like the sound. For this one, I like to cut the onion a little long because it looks better. When I was pregnant, we traveled to Thailand, and I really miss Chinese food. We went to a kid a restaurant, and I asked him, "Can I go inside the kitchen and cook for myself? <laughs> I just want to cook something." Now we can put the egg in, cook it, add some more salt. I like to be. More beautiful, so if you put the green onions in, the color just much better. If you want to have more juice, you can add a little bit water. Depends on you, I like uh, with some juice. Yeah, if you have rice and add some of this juice, it's really yummy. We will add some Chinese chicken powder. Is this a breakfast dish or no. you can eat it anytime, huh? Yeah, but in uh, local Ningbo, we don't eat any like uh, fried food as a breakfast. Oh. So normally for lunch and dinner. 
Oh, this uh, spoon is too small. Mm. But if it's not tasted good, don't say it. Mm. Mm. Really good. Maybe I should have waited a little bit. <laughs> <Too hot. laughs> yeah, the tomatoes aren't really too cooked. Chusa. Chinese said, let, let the tomato chusa. Ta da! Oh, ooh, a beautiful color. <laughs> wow. Fantastic piece for you. Thank you. I'm gonna use chopstick because I'm Chinese. And I just thought of something. What if I put this Ooh. on top of that and turn this into a breakfast complete meal? Yeah, because Western like egg can be the breakfast, right? Uncle Darren, we need to open American <laughs> restaurant in Nimbo. A lot of people are different. Is I it? like really spicy, but right. I thought I can hold it back a little bit. Because this one, when you first bite, you don't feel it's spicy. But when you're chewing, and the spicy comes out. Kicks and in. Yeah. By the way, I'm on fire. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Calls my mm. head. Mm. Fantastic on top of there. Mm. Let me try. Mm. This is my... One thousand at a time, tomato with egg. Maybe. Nice color. Yeah, that is try. amazing. Let color. me try it in this way. East and west. Uh -huh. East, 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 east meets, meets west. west. Really good. Does that make your tomato egg better? Or. My, my tomato egg is already good. <laughs> it's. Um, cooking DNA. First episode mm. of cooking DNA. DNA. Darren and Annie. Really good. Yes. I'm not just saying for the show. Yeah, that's very it's good. It's really good. Honey, well, you your sister try. must have thought so because she went back and was stealing seconds. Oh, get your sister in. She's going to try the combination. Jia Jia, try Chinese and American mixed together. This is our first episode of DNA. And thank you for watching. If there's something that you'd like to see us both uh, cook from uh, your country just leave a uh, comment and uh, always like these videos so we can keep going subscriber like no no like not to that just hold that just hold that like that yeah there's a much too Chinese and American mix, just like Eva. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, they came to me. Uh, actually, Darren did a while back, said he'd really like to do a cooking style show meeting me east and west. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, th this was a very, very simple two dishes to do. We could do some, maybe some more complicated stuff, but we figured we'd start it off er easy. But like they said, like, subscribe, share, comment. Let us know your suggestions. Did you like the format? And what did you think of the first? Cooking with DNA. How's it going, guys? I'm at Cove Aqua at a friend of mine's place named Leo. But they will tend to the beetle, I think, soon. Yeah, yeah. What do they live on? There's just the wood? It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> the second brother, the younger one. You see the younger one, almost naughty. Larry, Mo, and Curly. It's just fried about three or four days ago. Yeah? Yeah. Some good looking peppers. It's for a different time. This is too spicy. Can I eat one? No, this is just too spicy. <laughs> you can try, but. Which one can I try? Any one you can try, but. You sure? Yeah, is this, how hot is this one? Okay. It's not kidding, huh? It's good. You sure? Yeah, 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 it's good. Oh my god. I like him. It's too hot. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. They no. cannot grow their legs back, right? Cannot. Cannot. Well, at least he has good care. This is his hospice. We're gonna go grab some lunch. And then afterwards, I'll show you the reef room. The reef room is right down through those doors right there. Really, really interesting, uh, interesting room full of uh, corals.